Oh, hey everyone, it's Sandy, and I'm gonna do a layout that Robin, yes, yeah, Robin, sorry if you hear a noise, we're in the kitchen. Uh, Robin had challenges to an embossing challenge, so I am going to do uh, with vellum. So I used that Amy Tan embossing folder of Lisa's, and then I am going to use one of her Tim Holtz stamps, put some VersaFine on there, throw some embossing powder, and heat gun it. I'm out of breath. <laughs> there we go. And so thanks Robin for the challenge. Uh, we have fun doing it. And then Lisa did one as well, so check out her channel, and it's Maggie Milo. And I'm just gonna use a heat gun, emboss it. Denim embossing powder. Oh, I use denim embossing powder. I didn't know what it was because it's Lisa's stuff that I'm using up. Sorry, I just remember that part. <laughs> and then here I went through her scraps because I'm going to start with a 12 by 12 white and I am going to just build off of her scraps. So I'm going to use that banner paper, which I don't know where it's from. Do you? That is, I believe, from crepe paper. She thinks it's crepe paper. And then I used a blue polka dotted and then a green piece of paper as well. And on the green paper, she had already used that, um, a punch on it because it had like that notebook looking. Oh, a tab punch. A tab punch. That looks like a notebook on the side, so. I'm just gonna start building my layers. And that's, I was gonna use that picture, but then I changed it. I'm gonna use this picture that has Lisa, me, Donna Downey, and one of our fans, Chelsea, and she lives in Red Deer here in Canada. She found out that we were gonna be taking the Donna Downey class and was kind of disappointed because we weren't gonna be in the same class, but we ended up taking another class the next day. And it wasn't the same one she was in, but we still made it a point to go by and say hi to her and talk with her for just a few minutes. And it was really fun meeting her. Me and Lisa were excited that somebody actually wanted to meet us. <laughs> So it was a lot of fun and she was really sweet. And then I added some mist for sprinkling and I just used Lisa's um, Mr. Huey's. And then I used a yellow spray mist, which I don't know what it was. I think it's was. Taxi or Buttercup. Okay, yeah, and I sprayed that one. Now I'm just gonna rip my vellum down and get um, Tim Holtz, what is it, Distress Ink, the black one. Black soot. There we go, black soot. Rub it on the top so those will pop out just a bit more. What else? Tim Holtz ruler. Tim Holtz ruler. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Narrate with me. That'd be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lots of inking around the edges. I probably could have cut that out for you. I'm sorry. That's okay. And that saying, it just says stuff like something about imagine, be creative love that's a tim holtz stamp like forever ago i've had it's that, one of those so. stampers anonymous yeah is that what it, okay yeah and it's pretty cool i don't have any of those so it's fun to go through her stash and use stuff i don't have that's what we should do from now i on. know we're not traveling with anything just, no, just yeah. shopping and just <laughs> <laughs> using each other's stuff up and there's that green paper where she used that punch that makes I it look totally like a notebook paper. Yeah. No, I didn't do it. You already had yeah, it done. Yeah, that's from yeah. when I was making my book. Oh, okay. And and I your smash book? Yeah, and cool. I had too many pieces. Yeah, and then I'm going to use that blue. And I ripped it in half, but I didn't. it wasn't an accident. I didn't care. I just glued it back down. So, And I was trying to lift up the edges a little bit just to give it a little bit more texture. And here we go. Gluing that down. I love that picture. Yeah, that you know that picture. I like it because the background, uh -huh. that wall color, is so pretty, and we look awesome. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna use glossy accents to put that down, the vellum down. Just seems like it would work to stick better. And on that strip, put some stuff down. And I haven't put a title on it. I totally saw what I wanted to do and I kind of just didn't do it because I couldn't think of how. But we're going to put, what, well, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You're, you're a, a fan, fan. We're a fan. Yeah. So, but I did journal on it and I'm just using that yellow paper from, do you know? Uh, that's the, um, <laughs> Echo Park. It's their summer one. Okay. Shoreline. Shoreline. Okay. Uh-huh. So I'm just using that and all of those papers are from her scraps, like I said, because 
I like to use white and just do my layering off of it. So it was perfect to go through and use her scraps. And Mr. Wade's gonna start coming in here. I got time. Yeah. Okay, put that down. I'm gonna do some journaling. I'm thinking, I think. Oh, see, I was telling yeah. her, I wanna put on a fan, you're a fan, we're a fan, but I didn't know how. So I'm gonna do some journaling, throw some enamel dots on there and call it done. So have any questions, let us know, and I will talk to you later. Bye.